in our day to day life we are surrounded by machines wherever our eyes goes we see some kind of machines the question comes in your mind is that that how we can control these machines they don't work on their own they need to be controlled right so with the help of this switch we can control the machines you might have used different type of switches like SPST, SPDT, DPDT. Now what is SPST, DPDT switches? So now let's learn about it. SPST stands for single pole, single throw. And SPDT stands for single pole, double throw. And DPDT stands for double pole, double throw. Now what is this pole, what is this throw? Let us define this pole and throw. When the number of circuits is controlled by the switch, it's called as pole. Whereas the throw can be defined as the number of the position that switch can adapt. So now let us learn about SPST switch. As you can see in the circuit, it's having only two terminals. The one terminal is input and another terminal is output. Hence it can control only the one socket. And SPST switch is a basic on off switch, which can be used to switch on the light, fan, etc. SPDT switch is having three terminals. That's so one terminal is input and two terminals in output. So it can control two circuits. The name itself says the single pole and double throw. Application of SPDT switch is mainly involved to control the light from the both locations. And now let us learn in deep about DPDT switch. This DPDT switch is having total six terminals. There's two terminals as an input and four terminals in output. But the question comes here is why we need four terminals in output? You know why? Sometimes we use a motor in the both direction, the forward as well as the backward. So that time we need four terminal as an output. Now we'll see the internal connection of this DPDT switch. As you can see, that's the sixth terminal in this box. Now let us color this each terminal. Terminal one as black, terminal two as red, terminal three as brown, terminal four as black, terminal five as yellow, and terminal six as brown. Now we'll show this terminal one with terminal four and terminal three with terminal six. And the battery positive terminal will be connected to the terminal 3 and the negative terminal will be connected to the terminal 4 of DPDT switch. And will also connect the motor to DPDT switch so it will be easy for your understanding. As you know there is no any polarity in the motor so we will just number the terminal of the motor as terminal 1 and terminal 2. And the terminal 1 of the motor will be connected to terminal 2 of the DPDT switch and the terminal 2 of the motor will be connected to terminal 5 of the DPDT switch. When we will press the switch in the downward direction, that time terminal 2 and 3 of DPDT switch will be connected and terminal 4 and terminal 5 will be connected. So that time the positive supply will be flowing from the terminal 1 of the motor and the motor will start moving in the clockwise direction. And when we will press the switch in the upper direction, that time terminal 1 and 2 of the DPDT switch will be connected and terminal 6 and 5 of the DPDT switch will be connected. So that time the positive supply will be flowing from terminal 2 of the motor and the motor will start moving in the anti-clockwise direction. So this was all about the internal connection of DPDT switch. So the main application of DPDT switch is to control the motor in both directions, forward as well as in reverse direction. Thank you for watching this video. If there is any doubt regarding this topic, please comment down below and don't forget to like our videos and subscribe our channel.